artificial intelligence. Of artificial intelligence. Artificial general intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Ten reasons to be terrified of robots. In a world driven by technology, our advancements have shaped the way we live. From towering cities to mind-boggling computational power, our reliance on modern technology is undeniable. But now, a new player has entered the scene. Robots, military drones, intelligent androids, and microscopic nanobots. Are we on the verge of a future where robots reign supreme? Brace yourself for a glimpse into a potentially terrifying reality. If that sounds alarmist, just stop for a second and take a look at some of the capabilities modern robots now have. Number 10. They can run faster than humans. Officially, the fastest man on Earth is Usain Bolt, the Jamaican sprinter who is record holder of 100M in just clocking an astonishing 9.58 seconds for the feat. But that's only a close comparison to the fastest robot, dubbed the Cheetah, which clocks in at an incredible 28.3 miles per hour. The Cheetah robot was primarily developed by Boston Dynamics, with funding from the government agency DARPA. And although it's only been tested in a lab so far, plans are in motion to begin field testing at at some point in 2013. And not only can this robot outrun anybody on foot, but it only has one feasible purpose, killing. Professor Noel Sharkey of the Robotics Department at the University of Sheffield sums it up. It's an incredible technological achievement, but it's unfortunate that it's going to be used to kill people. But at least we'll always be able to differentiate humans from robots by the way they act, right? Well. Number 9. They can act more human than us. Video game designers often try to incorporate AI, artificial intelligence, into their games to allow in-game characters to interact with the human players in a realistic manner. Most of the time, it's pretty easy to tell when a character in a game is being controlled by AI because it's so difficult to mimic the complexities of the human decision-making process. However, 2K Games held a contest to see who could create the best AI algorithm that could successfully mimic human behavior. The test was set up so that an equal number of bots and human players were mixed together in a first-person shooter game. The humans could tag other players as either human or AI. The result? The winning algorithm got a humanness rating of 52%. It doesn't seem like a lot, except that the actual human players averaged 40% humanness. The AI was more believable than real people. But yeah, come on, it's not actually that terrifying because it's just in a video game. Except that the AI algorithms that come out of this competition will soon be used to allow robots to better interact with humans. Again, we're making robots that act just like humans. Number 8. They match our strength and dexterity. Biorobotics is, you guessed it, the science of creating robots with living tissue. And in this case, it's not just any living tissue. Muscle tissue has been engineered by the University of Pennsylvania and MIT to react to light. Normal skeletal muscle tissue contracts as a result of the electrical impulses sent from neurons, but this tissue will contract whenever it's exposed to light. By genetically modifying the proteins of the tissue to respond to light, they have been able to create a way to manipulate biological muscle tissue without the need for anything so complicated as a nervous system. The video above shows the tissue in action. The research team hopes to implement this modified muscle tissue in robots so as to make them more flexible and dexterous than previously possible. Number 7. They can dodge obstacles. One of the fail-safes, you could say, of typical drones is that they require a satellite signal, or any type of remote signal, in order to maneuver in the field. Without that guidance, they'll just fall out of the sky. In an effort to take something that's already pretty good at avoiding hurdles and make it great at it, the robust robotics group at MIT has developed a fixed wing drone that can navigate through an environment with absolutely no human input. Their drone is able to calculate its own acceleration, speed, orientation, and position through an algorithm that pulls information from onboard instruments. Number 6. We're giving them brains. Specifically, bee brains. In a joint venture by the Universities of Sussex and Sheffield, scientists are creating a working model of the neural pathways which make up a bee's brain. This model will be placed inside a flying drone to help it navigate terrain. Creating mechanical working models of brains is not a new idea, but typically efforts have been restricted to trying to recreate the neural systems of mice, monkeys, and humans, which are the only brains that matter. But according to Dr. James Marshall, simpler organ Organisms such as social insects have surprisingly advanced cognitive abilities, but are smaller and more accessible than any vertebrate brain. If you don't see why this is so frightening, think of the way bees act. They're hive-minded, they swarm, and they can signal other bees when they're being attacked. Now imagine that, but with weaponized robots. 
Number five, they can walk on water. This is just insane. Not only have robotics engineers created machines that outperform humans, they've created machines that can do things we can't even do. Chin Min Pan has developed a robot that mimics the water strider, an insect that can walk across water without breaking surface tension. The robot not only walks on water, but can actually leap 5.5 inches high and 14 inches forward, a feat which until now has been impossible because the downward thrust required for the jump breaks the surface tension and causes the robot to sink. Pan used nickel foam for the legs, and a complex five-leg system that allows the 11-gram robot to push itself off the surface of the water and land again without breaking through, proving that scientists really just don't want us to have any safe place to hide from the inevitable robot warriors of the future. Number 4. They Hate Joy Leave it to Japan to create a robot that fires every time you smile. No, this is for real. Suitabashi Heavy Industry is an electronics company that has recently unveiled a four-ton robot named Kuratas which is probably Japanese for goodbye insignificant humans. Kuratas is a consumer product that can be purchased for 900,000 pounds, cup holders cost extra, and can be controlled by either an internal pilot or any device that uses a 3G network. And the best part, the robot is fully weaponized and is programmed to fire a Gatling gun at 6,000 rounds minute when the pilot smiles. Granted, the robot actually fires a BB gun. And the real question would be, how difficult would that be to replace with a real weapon? This seems like a pretty reckless way to use technology, but at least we can still destroy them, right? Number 3. They're indestructible. The video above shows an earthworm robot, a special machine created by MIT, Harvard, and Seoul universities that travels with peristalsis, the rhythmic contracting motion that worms use to travel. This autonomous robot won't flip over or lose its balance and can be used to traverse difficult terrain. In the video, the researchers showed how resilient the robot is by hitting it with a sledgehammer and stepping on it, only to have the robot continue crawling on its merry way. Let's get this straight. Hammers and feet are the natural enemies of every bug on the planet, but this robot shrugs them off like a gentle sneeze. It's not quite indestructible, but it's proof that engineers are thinking in that direction. Number two, they can recognize themselves. Anybody who knows anything about robots knows that as soon as they become self-aware, they will begin to question their role as our mechanical slaves. Impatient to bring that day ever closer, Yale University researchers are building a robot named Nico that will hopefully be able to recognize itself in a mirror. Okay, some of the items on this video are terrifying, but let's stop and think about this one for just another second. This robot will develop a sense of identity to the extent that it will be able to see its reflection and in whatever capacity understand that it is a creature in this world. Humans typically can't do this until they're 18 months old, so Nico will effectively have a reasoning capacity greater than that of a human infant. Number 1. Cambridge is studying the possibility of a robot uprising. In a move straight out of the scenes of an 80s film script, Cambridge University is researching the possibility of a real, actual, yes we're being serious, robot uprising. The project, dubbed the Center for the Study of Existential Risk, was created by Hugh Price, professor of philosophy at Cambridge, Martin Rees, and John Tallon, the co-founder of Skype, to assess the extinction-level risks to our species from progress in AI, from developments in bio technology and artificial life from nanotechnology. It's all fun and games when an internet site talks about the potential of a robot uprising. But when Cambridge professors are seriously concerned about it, well, we're surprised you haven't already smashed your computer and started trekking for the hills. I am sure you are going to love to watch our video about realistic robots that will freak you out on our channel. Make sure to subscribe to us and never miss our amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.